Hey guys, my name is Jake Schick and today I'll be doing my very first unboxing. Today I'll be unboxing the linear PCM recorder for DLSR, known as the Tascam DR70D. So let's open this thing up. So here's the Tascam inside of its box right here. Um, just by me holding it, it feels like it's about one to two pounds, not too heavy. Um, if you've ever held an Apple product before, you know, it always felt solid and nothing was moving around inside. Well, they did the exact same thing with this uh, product. It's really nice and it's packaged pretty well. Um, on all sides of the box, uh, it contains the brand name of Tascam, as well as on one side it has the barcode, serial number, and... Yeah, Taz cams all over this box. Okay, so let's get down to the opening part. So, inside um, is a styrofoam casing. Uh, let's move this box over here. So inside right here, here is the um, Taz cam manual. Um, surprisingly, it's not as heavy as I thought it would be. It's not as uh, thick but definitely going to have to read this later. <laughs> um, let's move this over here. Right here are some uh, screw covers. Um, I think when you, mount on your when you mount on your camera to the device, these are going to cover up the screws when you're mounting on it. Something, something around that. Um, you know, somewhere I should say somewhere in the manual about how to use these, but I think this is screw coverings. I think that's what it is. Right here is the USB uh, cable, so you'll be able to transfer your audio files from the Tascam back into your computer. So, you know, this is self-explanatory. And then, of course, right here is the Tascam, if I can get this thing out. Tascam in here. Wow, look at that. It is beautiful. So from opening this device right off the bat, one thing that is totally different about this one compared to its predecessors is that it's much thinner. The DR60D Mark I and Mark II were like bricks, so when you plug them onto your tripod along with your camera, they could easily be tipped over or knocked down. Whereas this one is much more thinner and safer to work with, so I give that a plus in itself right there. Another change with the device is that the screen is tilted. And so, as you're already going to have the task cam on the tripod, instead of having to take everything off like you did in the 60D just to look at the screen, this screen is tilted. And so now you can leave it on your tripod and make a few minor adjustments and be able to read it easily. Another change with this device that is not too different is that the buttons are made out of rubber instead of uh, plastic. And so I believe in the DR60Ds, some of them are plastic and some of them are rubber. Well, all of them in this device is all rubber. Another good change about this device is that the microphones are already built into the system. You have two stereo microphones on the back of the device right next to the ports for the AA batteries. And enough with the new changes to the device. Let's get going with what is actually on the device. So starting on the right side, you have three XLR inputs for XLR microphones. And then right next to it on the left is a hold where you switch it to hold and you can't do any changes to device and then next to it you have it uh, the turn off button on its back side you have the two new stereo microphones built in and then next to it is where you plug in your batteries it contains about four AA batteries and another cool change about this device is that it goes a 30 minutes longer than it did in the 60D so that's another cool change right there Next on the other side is it contains one more XLR cable. Right next to that is a USB port which transfers your files into your computer. I think this is the one half inch. This is another input where you plug in a microphone into. Right next to that is a remote. I'm not sure exactly what that does. And then camera in and camera out line. 
right next to the line in and line out is you have the microphone jack. And right next to the microphone jack is the volume button. On the front side, you have the menu button. And then a lot of the other buttons I do not really know much about. The record button, the slate button was where you uh, start syncing your audio to your video. And then your stop button, your playing button, and your rewinds for listening to your audio. So there you have it. Here's the unboxing of the Tascam DR70D. If you guys have any questions or concerns about this device, just let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I'll see you in my next video. See ya.